gentlemen, welcome back to Twisted Koi. And you, frankly Koi, I see you. And we got a new girl on the block, Finland Lass. Hope I've got that right, girl. She's been inspired to start a YouTube channel. Fucking fair play and welcome to the Koi Tuber Club, girl. Go across to Finland Lass, give her a subscribe, tell them the Twisted One sent you. Right, first things first. Grow and show. 11 o'clock Saturday morning for the, the people coming to the Grow and show down at New Forest. If you can, car share, that would be great because Ricky has said there is not a great deal of parking down there and I can, I can concur to that one. <laughs> but if the weather is like it is today, it will be absolutely fantastic. It's going to be a fantastic day anyway. But if the weather's like this, you, you know, they always say the sun, sun should know. We won't go there, please. Uh, <laughs> but you know what I mean. It's going to be a cracking day either way. But if the sun's out, oh my word. Yeah, we should be in for a cracker. These are wanting food. And yeah. Ooh. which also reminds me on the grow and show um, let me get my book a second give me a second and I will come back to you right bugger knows what I was doing then <laughs> I was trying to find uh, another bit of paperwork that I had, but I can't find it to hand. So all I can say is, if you are having your fish delivered, it needs to be, delivery charge needs to be paid either just later on this evening or this afternoon, or tomorrow uh, for your fish to be shipped out to you on Wednesday. So, yeah, if you haven't paid the, the 30, I think it's 30 pound delivery charge, then get on the phone to New Forest Koi, ask for Ricky, uh, tell him to, for the Deutsche Amatonischke Grand Show with Twisted Koi, and if you can get that done, it would be much appreciated. Well, most of my this morning... <coughs> most of my morning has been taken up with uh, cleaning tanks, uh, got the uh, the front room tank given a bloody good clean over, and I also gave the uh, the turtle tank a bloody good clean. Oh, they should see the shit that comes out of there. Oh, he's a lazy fucker. <laughs> but yeah, we're looking all clear, fine and dandy in there. And uh, yes. I got let loose with a paintbrush again yesterday, so we've got a bit more painting done. That's all dry now. I did the inside first, and it's been left like that overnight, because I'm going to take the perspex off and put it on the underside. So then uh, I've not got any condensation of the woodwork, which should stop any rotting or mould or anything like that. But... That aside... I haven't got the materials to be able to box that in yet, so what I thought, I thought, well, fuck it. I'll, in that case, I'll paint it black and I'll take advantage of the afternoon sun that comes over here every day, day in, day out, and that will warm it up absolutely lovely. On the subject of the multi bay, I've decided that I want the extra flow on the uh, the growing on tank with the air pump that I've got. So instead of running an aerated K1 chamber in this filter. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the jack mat from there into uh, this chamber here. I'm going to shorten the brushes so they sit down in there better, better and nicely. And then I'm going to put alpha grog in this end chamber with some more plants. Uh, more likely some cordata and uh, I might even break that down in there which has got calla lilies and some grass in it these are doing absolutely great guns a lot of that will disappear over the next day or so because uh, as soon as I've got this bit of uh, wood screwed in place here 
I'll drop the water just a little bit more. I'll get in and I'll put a good bead of OB1 all the way around the inside. And then I can start looking at making some kind of lid. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the inner sheets off of the, the air. So, so the plan is I'm going to take the inner sheets off and I'm going to turn them into a lid for in there. that just a jail so yeah and I mean once I get my other airstone in there that will boil quite nicely that's some of the media out of that easy pod over there I will be emptying that media out of that pod it will all go into there so will a big chunk of water when I fill it back up so I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to drop it down get the OB1 in and then I will actually top the chunk of water back up with water from the Tosai tank the media will come over and then so will those fish and then with the lid on i um, got to wait until payday and hopefully I can afford to get myself there uh, I think it was what's they called an ST1, STC100 thermostatic thing for temperature so that I can I can then heat this more efficiently more effectively with one of them so that's uh, that's on the cards but I'm not going to touch this slide valve now until I do the last of the pipe work which is putting the uh, the second Tempest in when we get the one fitted in down at Pars and the old one comes up here once I get that in and this runner pipe no more pipe work to do oh my word <laughs> right, you know I love my pipe work, but it comes a time when you know enough's enough, and let's get on with concentrating on the fish. You know, once I've got pipe work in, I can get the last of the concrete in, and that is the shed pretty much fucking done for the minute, as far as I'm concerned. I've got a list as long as you're armed for jobs to do indoors, as well as the patio to do for Susan. There is to spawn in to think about as well. So yeah, oh. <laughs> We've also got the grower show this weekend. Adam Bayer with uh, GKP on the 22nd. I'm sure it's the 22nd. And then we've got the Secret Sankey, Se Secret Sankey Part 2 event at Ricky, Hodder. Ricky Stoddard is uh, holding up for Koi Wholesale up at uh, uh, Newark. Me and Rocket Boy will be there. So, if there's any tickets left, Get on, get a ticket, because it's going to be a fucking awesome day. Absolutely awesome day. Really, really looking forward to that. In fact, I'm looking forward to that more than I am going to the shows this year. So, yeah. There's still tickets. Price for ticket. It'll be a fucking awesome day of coin nerding, I reckon. I reckon. Anyway, enough of me waffling on. I'm going to get this bit of wood screwed on. And uh, we'll come back to you a bit later. Yeah, been on the phone to uh, to Ricky, and yes, uh, Adam Lloyd and Ian Beddo have paid for their delivery. And if I'm right in remembering, Becky Cook and Lim Newell have now decided that you're coming down on the Saturday. Am I correct? So that just leaves. Lisa Leach. So Lisa, if you can give Ricky a call tomorrow, that would be absolutely great because they haven't got a lot of uh, slots for the uh, for the delivery slot. So yeah, he really needs to know what's going on so that uh, it can get sorted. Right, that aside, I'm just waiting for the Tosai tank to drop top up because I took, I would say, a good 90% of them. Oh, you get out of the sun. <clears throat> I've taken about 90% of the media out of the easy pod and I've got that in the bio bin in the uh, filter house we're going to have a look at that in a minute and I'm not going to uh, hook up that pump to that bio bin what have got to do? do just put the pumps over move the 70 over there and put the 120 over there which will run them even better and uh, after all this one is all about 
running it cheap. So, as you can see here, this needs a, another stone just attached to this line. And a lot of this is the new Helix, Helix 13 that's not matured yet. But, you remember that big bag of media that was sat over there? Well, uh, that's what's left. And I think that will fit quite comfortably in there and distribute, distribute rather well between the remaining easy pods. So you've got a good 90% of fresh new media in there. I have boiled it while I was adding it and I gave it a clean and whatnot for a second time. And uh, we'll uh, leave that till that's matured a bit and then uh, we'll soon know if we can add more in it by uh, the way it boils. I mean, if it still boils quite ferociously, then you can get a bit more in there. If you put too much in, you'll find that it stops boiling and it comes to the surface. Then all you do is take a handful out until it starts boiling again. And that's your point. All depends on how big an air pump you've got running the cleaning. Now this one's only a 40. As we know, that one's a 70 running that one. And that's a 120 that cleans these. So, yeah, you can imagine the way the fucking dirt goes when I clean this one, or oh, doesn't it just? <laughs> so, yeah. Other than waffling away to you, there's not a lot that I'm actually doing today. I'm going to take some of that Perspex down, but you don't want to watch me taking Perspex down. So, uh, yeah. I've sorted out the time. I've sorted out the delivery. There is still a couple of people that are in the Grow and Show that haven't downloaded Telegram yet. Please do, because I do want to be doing at least fortnightly updates through the summer from date of collection, which would be Saturday, and then from there, sort of like every, every couple of weeks update, I'll do a, a little video where you where you've sent me in little video snips and uh, I'll just stitch it all together and then it will become part of the video and we'll do that on a on a on a regular basis and I'm sure we were we were going to do something with GKP as far as the uh, the growing shows are concerned as well so yeah we're going to definitely going to be keeping you updated on this one and I'm wanting a lot more interaction from uh, you the people that are actually uh, in the growing show uh, I uh, I do know a few subscribers and a few YouTubers uh, are very disappointed in a, a few growing shows that were done last year. So, see if we can change that with this one. Anyway, that's me, Monday Musing, pottering around, growing show info. Got re something really, really special for you tomorrow taking Rocket Boy on a road trip. It's going to blow his mind. <laughs> and we'll take you along for the ride as well. So uh, we'll more than likely catch up with you tomorrow evening. <laughs> you thought I'd forgot, didn't you? I will admit I had a mental fart. As always, guys, up and twisted coy. You lot out there are always great. And we will catch you tomorrow sometime. Da, 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 that's all, cupcakes! <laughs>